to code tonight so in today's video we will see how we can call api using uh, c sharp asp.net core so uh, we all know we can call the apis from the uh, js side but now we will see how we can do that uh, from our uh, controller part okay so uh, what we have here is we have one api project that i have and in this uh, in this uh, i have created two api one is for get operation and the one is for set operation just to show you how you will call the uh, api of http get and http post okay so i will just run the application which is having the api here okay because uh, if you want to use the api then it must be running all the time so um, we have run the application uh, which have the api now coming back to the web application that we have so here we will use http client for calling the api now uh, for http client we have to add the package system.net.http uh, on the controller so once you add that package now we can use http client over here so you will start using statement and this object will become accessible over here so um, we have to assign the base address over here so now this address we will get from the uh, api application that we have run so you can see this local host 44347 now this is the base address for the api so we have added that so uh, after that we are telling the application type is json okay so you can add this here now we have to add the api endpoint which you want to call so currently we are calling api department and get a department okay so if you go to the other project uh, you will see that this is the uh, endpoint we have given for get um, get api okay so now going back to the app so uh, here we are just checking the get application get api by using the get async now if you want to call the post api then what you have to do is you have to create a uh, uh, dictionary for uh, sending the parameters whatever you want to send so here we have added two parameters department id and department name uh, which we want to send in the post api now we have converted these values to the form request content and we have passed this in the post async uh, request okay so this is the set api and this is the parameters that we are sending so uh, here we will add the breakpoint and we will run the application so uh, we can see uh, if it is transferring the data or not so i have added the breakpoint over here and also in the post api so uh, in the api i have used from form over here and then the object which is coming from uh, the web website now from form basically because we are sending the uh, form request content so that is why we have added from form so now you can see that we have executed the uh, get api and you can see the value getting here and it will return back the uh, response now after that we are calling the uh, we are adding the parameters and then we will call call the post api here so here we have the content okay and then so here you can see the values are one and test so when we will post this api so here in the department you will be able to see department id one and the department name is test so this is the same data that we have posted from this web app so this is uh, how you can post the data for the post api Uh, so you can check the response status code is 200 and uh, it has got the uh, response from the api so this is how we can call api from uh, asp.net core c sharp side and if you have any question then you can comment on the video so uh, if you need the code part then what you can do is you can go to our official website code tonight.com and uh, there you will be able to see uh, calling web api from server side using asp.net core so now if you will open that you will be able to see and the code that we have just seen in the video okay so you can copy the code from there and let us know if you face any issue